next lesson puts together the two previous lessons, combining like terms and the distributive property. So real quick to refresh combining like terms, um, we have all of our x terms plus 4x and plus 2x. And then we have the constants, the plain old numbers, the 7 and the negative 3. Remember, you should always write it with x's first. So this would be 6x plus 4. Ooh, sorry about that. Knocked my calculator over and everything. Wow. All right. Almost had a fatality here for that poor calculator. In the next one, we have 8k and we have a negative 2k, which is going to give me 8k minus 2k is 6k. And I have a negative 12 and a plus 9, which is going to give me a negative 3. There we go. Distributive property, just to remind you, is multiplying negative 2 times negative 4x is 8x. Negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. 7 gets distributed. 7 times negative x, negative 7x. 7 times 5 is positive 35. Negative 4 gets distributed, so negative 4x minus 28. 3 gets distributed, 6x plus 27. So just kind of remind you, um, when you are solving these equations, distribute, combine your like terms, and then solve just like normal. Basically, your goal is to get it so it looks like just a basic two-stepper. Um, parentheses have to come first. So in this one, we're going to actually take this negative 3 and distribute it. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And the 2x is just chilling out front. Equals 9. I have some like terms. So I have 2x and negative 3x, which is going to give me negative x minus 3 equals 9. Add the 3. This is just a basic now. Negative x equals 12. This helps you. It's negative 1x. So to get an x, we have to divide by negative 1. We get x equals negative 12 then. In example number 2, we are going to distribute the 2, and it's a positive 2 this time. So 2 times 2k is 4k. And 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. And the 3k is just chilling out front equals 15. So like terms 3k and 4k, 7k minus 6 equals 15. Add 6. So 7k equals 21. Divide by 7. k equals 3 then. Alright. On the next page, just a couple more to practice with. Um, how about I do the first column with you and then you can do the second column to practice. Positive 8 gets distributed here, so 8 times 3 is a positive 24. I'm putting that because I know I have something out front. Positive 8 times negative 2n is negative 16n. Don't forget to bring down the negative 5n who is chilling. So I have negative 5n and negative 16n, which gives me negative 21n, plus the 24 equals 66, minus the 24 from both sides. So negative 21n equals 6 minus 4 is 2, 42, divided by negative 21, we get n equals negative 2 then. Example 5, drop a line down, positive 4 gets distributed here, so 4x minus 60, positive 4x, bring down the negative 3x just chilling, equals negative 53. X's go together, that just gives you positive X minus 60, equals negative 53. So add the 60, you're left with just straight up X, and you get a positive 7 then. I'm actually going to break what I said I was going to do. Um, let's jump over here to example number 8. The reason I want to do this one is the 6 gets distributed, but look, it's a negative 6. So negative 6 times 5X is negative 30X. Negative 6 times 6 is negative 36. Don't forget the 4x out front. 198. 4x minus 30x is negative 26x minus 36 equals 198. Add 36. So negative 26x equals, this is going to give me 198, 234. Divide by a negative 26, let's see, 
34 divided by 20, negative 26. It's going to give me x is a negative 9. So there's three more here. Um, you're welcome to try them and just kind of practice. They're all going to be similar to what we've just done, um, but it's just more opportunity for you to practice them.